April 17th Morning Devotional Duty or Desire But ye have set it not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 25 In the night season the angel of God came to Balaam with the message, Thou shalt not go with them, thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. A second time Balaam was tested. In response to the solicitations of the ambassadors he professed great conscientiousness and integrity, assuring them that no amount of gold and silver could induce him to go contrary to the will of God. But he longed to comply with the king's request, and although the will of God had already been definitely made known to him, he urged the messengers to tarry, that he might further inquire of God, as though the Infinite One were a man, to be persuaded. In the night season the Lord appeared to Balaam and said, If the men come to call thee, rise up, and go with them, but yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shalt thou do. Thus far the Lord would permit Balaam to follow his own will, because he was determined upon it. He did not seek to do the will of God, but chose his own course, and then endeavored to secure the sanction of the Lord. There are thousands at the present day who are pursuing a similar course. They would have no difficulty in understanding their duty if it were in harmony with their inclinations. It is plainly set before them in the Bible or is clearly indicated by circumstances and reason. But because these evidences are contrary to their desires and inclinations they frequently set them aside and presume to go to God to learn their duty. With great apparent conscientiousness they pray long and earnestly for light. But God will not be trifled with. He often permits such persons to follow their own desires and to suffer the result. When one clearly sees a duty, let him not presume to go to God with the prayer that he may be excused from performing it. He should rather, with a humble, submissive spirit, ask for divine strength and wisdom to meet its claims.